Hi everyone, I am going to run through three really easy exercises that you can do every day if you want to or need to that are going to help you to improve the precision, control and position of your legs and that is going to help you improve your leg aids. So we're going to start off on your side. You need to have your top leg up in front of you. Now if you find that this is a little bit of an awkward position it makes you roll forwards or a little cushion or block underneath your knee. You need to have your bottom leg straight down underneath you from your hip and then bend it about 90 degrees from the knee and then you're going to lift and lower your top foot. We call this the reverse clam. Now hopefully you can already see how this is going to help you with positioning of your leg aids. It's basically a glorified version of putting your leg onto the horse. Because you are doing this lying on your side, you are isolating this movement very much to your hip. You're getting that nice rotation movement from your hip and the movement is really coming in as, as it would as if you were putting your leg onto the horse. So that is exercise number one. Exercise number two, you're going to bring your top leg back so it's in the same position as your bottom leg. In this position, try to have that little mouse hole open underneath here so your spine is nice and straight. And then you're going to bring that top leg up and down in front of you. And as you're doing this, you want to keep your pelvis very still so that you're moving just from your hip. So this is really about getting that hip control that hip precision of movement so that when you want to move your leg forwards and backwards in front of the girth behind the girth wherever you want it you can move from your hip if that's where you want the movement to come from so watching as you're doing this that you're not rocking backwards and forwards through your pelvis but you're isolating that movement to your hip and then your final exercise we're going to pop onto your back and we're going to do the hip twist exercise i'm sure you know it as other names as well I suggest you have your hands onto those headlights on the front of your pelvis. This is what I call a wine glass exercise, the leg that isn't moving. If I'm going to start with my right, so that's going to be my left leg. I've got my imaginary wine glass on there as I roll my right knee out and back up. I then swap my wine glass onto my right knee as I roll the left knee out and back up. So we're looking again, precision, but now we're involving both legs. We want the precision and the control of the movement of the leg that is on the go, so it's slowly down, slowly back up, no flopping. You've got that control of the leg that isn't on the move as well. So this is kind of a, a double whammy. You've got controlled movement and you've got controlled stillness. So those are three exercises that you can do. I know I've only done one on one side now. This is more of a teaching session than you have to actually run through everything I've done. You can do these quickly and easily anytime you want. It's good to compare the two sides because that will show you if you find that one side is weaker, one side is hard to be more precise on. But these are really good grounding exercises for you to do on a regular basis if you find that particularly on one side of your body, your leg precision is not as good as it could be.